Wow, we got a real a story getting out of hand here. I uh, had an incident with my neighbor. We live in Cedar Park. We live on a road called Frostdale Drive. And this neighbor, real interesting neighbor, they've been in the drug trade ah, for at least 12, 15 years. As far as I know, they make meth, and I think they make some other drugs too. They got the uh, criminal records to prove it. And I've lived next to them for three years. I've got a whole neighborhood that'll stand by me and say, yeah, these people are involved in the drug trade. Well, anyway, these people had a pit bull and the pit bull, at least over a three, four year period of time, the pit bull's name was Sharky, had bitten five people in my neighborhood. Five different incidents of biting people, mostly kids. And no one would press charges because the owner was part of a drug operation. So people were afraid, I guess. Well, finally, one guy uh, who got bit and wasn't afraid, he did press charges. And uh, before that actually happened, that dog cornered my kids when they were two years old and four years old. And I was not home, but they cornered my kids. Luckily, thank God it didn't. Uh, bite my kids and it ran away and took off. Well, my wife said, yeah, they, my kids are all freaked out about this dog. So I told the owner, I said, hey man, if that dog comes on my property, I'm going to have to do something about it. And it might not be pretty. I'm, I'm not going to get bit by a pit bull. My kids, I'm definitely not letting my kids get bit by a pit bull. And I'm not letting my wife get bit by a pit bull. So he, he got pretty frustrated that I told him that. But I said, yeah, man, I mean, if that dog's on my property, you know, I more or less told him that's my dog. Well, okay, he told me to F off and you know, you, t you touch that dog, I'll kill you, blah, blah, blah. He's actually threatened my life in front of a Travis County Sheriff. Have a record of that, Sheriff uh, Derek. So, um, well, you know, so many weeks later, that dog came after me on my property and I had to shoot that dog. I did not kill that dog. I wounded the dog. Um, thankfully I did not have to kill the dog, but it was crippled for a while. And then the dog bit one more person and that was the person that, um, pressed charges. And then they came and the authorities finally did something and got the dog. Well, they have another dog now, Sergeant Major. He's a pretty good dog. Uh, he, Seems like a pretty friendly dog. I haven't seen him around much lately. But uh, he's another pit bull, of course. Well, recently, and by the way, I keep I now have a fence around my property because, you know, when you live next to a crack house, a meth house like I do on Frostdale Drive in Cedar Park, Texas, you don't, and, and uh, we homeschool our kids, you know, we don't want them drug people coming over to our property. We also have chickens. We raise chickens. We have about 25 chickens. Well... Two nights ago, three nights ago, one of their kittens, they have about 30 or 40 of them. They have tons of them. They claim they're spayed and neutered, but I don't know how. Uh, got on my property, and my dog killed the kitten. That's pretty gross, and it happens, and you have you know, lived out in the country a little bit. By the way, these cats have killed probably eight of my chickens over the last three years. I don't get mad about that, because that's what chickens do, or that's what cats do. You can't stop that. But anyway, Buddy killed this cat, uh, and Nicole, the neighbor next door to me, that night wanted to come retrieve her cat. Sure, come on over. I'll open. I'll let you open the gate and get your cat. Next morning or during the night, I don't know which, I go outside to let the chickens out, and that cat is thrown back over the fence back onto my property. And then they start this attack, mostly made of lies, on... Nextdoor, this application for phones called Nextdoor app. And in this, it states that my dog entered their property and took the cat and brought it over. And she took the cat to the ER and held the cat's paw and blah, blah, blah. And I, I guess she forgot to mention that it happened on my property. And she forgot to mention that she threw the cat back onto my property the next day. Anyway, the, these people are, you know, pieces of you know what, okay? That's who you're dealing with. I'm not afraid of these people. In fact, I, they're trying to ramp my community up against me and my it's a little red healer dog named Buddy. So I need to show the other side of this story. This is all bull. And, the, and it's, it's 
documented liar, this gal Nicole. So there's more to come on this. Thanks.